Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back. Uh, first and foremost, I may need to apologize for the hoarseness of my uh, audible output today. Uh, seems I slept weird or something or I'm still suffering from like, some kind of cold or whatever. My throat hurts really bad and it's kind of swollen. So uh, my, uh, my speech is slightly impaired. Anyway, we have us a unknown year some kind of flat boat. It's from North Carolina, according to the sticker right there. Uh, customer states, tires are wearing irregularly. And if we take a look right here, you can see some wear on that outer edge, some wear on that inner edge. Uh, what we're gonna do is just do a, a tire rotation on a boat. That's what's uh, happening today. That's right, we're not paying much attention to this Yuletide Honda Pilot. That's a Pilot, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah it's a Pilot. Yeah, we're not gonna pay attention to the Pilot. Uh, we're just here to make sure that these tires on this particular trailer are uh, in good shape. This is kind of a, uh, it's on the road right now. Yeah, we see some wear right here. Yeah, this vehicle's on the road. It's just here for a pit stop from the, uh, from North Carolina. They're headed south to go do some fishing in the winter time of Florida. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring this vehicle on in and we're gonna back that trailer unit uh, into my service stall over there. It's the one on this side. We're gonna back the trailer in and uh, we're gonna get her jacked up and I'm gonna service the rear axle stocking Z engine. We're gonna rotate the tires and then send this truck out on its way. What do we have here for some mileage on our uh, on our Honda? Looking like 296,403 miles on the odometer. Check that out. Got some use out of this unit. So this is a uh, kind of a stubby little trailer here. I don't know if I can back it up with any kind of relative ease. I'm not used to backing up wee little trailers. Just uh, just big trailers. But I think I can do it. Backing up, checking the mirrors. Let's try to get some swing on this bad boy here. Looking for a reference point behind me. I guess if I hear a crunch, I know I've gone too far, right? Me. Are we looking, Dave? Good right there? I think we're good right there. I'll take that. Parking's the auto. Parking down. Here, let's prep the floor jack unit here. I had the bar out of it because I was using it as a breaker bar on some suspension earlier. And we're rolling this guy on out here. Like I said, we're doing a trailer rotation, trailer tire rotation, that's gonna be a, a left and right swap. Get her jacked up. Uh, this has been an interesting couple of weeks. First, I did a small engine repair on a weed eater, and now we're working on some boats. Next week, it's gonna be airplanes and trains. So I'm looking for floor jack number two, and I found out that I'm my own worst enemy because this one is also devoid of the jack handle. Oops, never gonna get any work done like this. So I'm gonna run over here since I'm down a jack and we will just grab a jack stand. I should be using jack stands anyway, but I'm not really going under the boat. I'm just kind of going next to the boat. Let's get this thing under there. And we'll swap the jack over to the other side here. Yeah. Can't reach. I cannot reach under a little more. This is the proper way to uh, do this in a sketchy fashion. Lean back. Nope. I guess it's just gonna have to go like right there. If I can get the clearance out of the tires. Let's see what we do. Coming down slowly. And that didn't work. 
tires are touching the ground, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go up to the next notch. Don't worry guys, it's my first day. I'll be all right. And we're gonna go up one notch. There. Trying again, down. There. We have achieved elevation. Let's get this guy back in. Move him back up. Now our trailer is levitating. Let's check the bearings while we're here. <laughs> what we do is just give it a side to side wiggle. That's pretty good. I feel nothing. Let us check the other side. Okay. Good, no bearing play. Okay, so we've got 21 millimeter fasteners right here. Let's pop these guys off and get them flip flopped. All right, coming in, check this out. I get to sit down on the job while I work on these wheels right here. That's fantastic. Unclips. There we go. Now remember, you gotta hose your trailers off after you pull them out of the boat ramp, especially the Florida boat ramps, because those are made out of saltwater air. And if you don't hose them off, you're gonna get rust and corrosion on everything. And that would be bad. So anyways, there's one is off. Let's roll this thing on over to the other side and get her flip floppied. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Short video about tire rotations. If it wasn't a boat, we wouldn't be doing this. Funny how that works, isn't it? And I guess you guys are cool with watching tire rotations. You were watching paint rust the other day and you watch the grass dry. So it stands to reason we can watch tires rotate, right? Better than watching, uh, I don't know, music awards on VH1. Does VH1 still exist? Is it a real, real thing or, or no? Hmm, what's all this here? Just some spider webs and dirt. That's no biggie. Oh, thanks Aaron for the gloves, by the way. My blue gloves are, uh, they're gone, so I'm using A-Rod's uh, purple gloves. He left them here, so they're now they're mine. Okay, a little tire. Let's nuzzle this guy back into its home here. I think I'm gonna give these, uh, these hubs a shot of grease while it's all apart. And while it's here, because like I said, this thing did drive from North Carolina. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. I'm over here working on stuff and you're staring at my knee. I am terrible cameraman. This is weird, I'm kind of in a good mood for having a head cold. Perhaps that's uh, some kind of illness-induced euphoria. Torque stick for the wind. Good. All right, let's take our other wheel right here and roll this unit on over to the driver's side. Was that the port side? No, that's starboard. This is the starboard side. Port is left side. This is left side. Strong side. Left side. Strong side. Left side. Strong side. Strong side. We'll roll this guy on in. So what we've successfully completed here is a side-to-side -side rotation of the tires. Now that could uh, slow down and arrest the irregular wear or the axle's bent and it needs to be replaced or rebent. Typically, when you see weird axle or weird tire, what weird tire wear words on a trailer, it's because you got a bent axle. Because it's a straight axle. And the tires should be parallel and perpendicular. Parallel to each other, perpendicular to the ground. Limited impact kicks. NASCAR. I wonder if it makes a tire squealy noise when we uh, lift the trailer down. Here, let's find out. We'll speed it up some more. 88 miles per hour. Then we can let her down, see what happens. Nope, no tire squeal. <laughs> no, not fooling around. Let's get the jack out. 
and then put the jack back in. All the way up. Come here, jack stand. Okay, let's check out our tire pressure. Let's get a digitized gauge here and some uh, compressed air. I believe we're going to be seeking uh, 40 PSI. That's my tire say. I run tire trailer, trailer tires at the maximum allowable PSI on the sidewall and it looks like I cannot see. Holler out if you guys see it. Where's my maximum recommended pressure? Ta -ta -ta -ta. 350 kPa, 50 psi max pressures. Okay, okay, so we're gonna run these at 50. That's where they go. Put that right there. Let's fire up our gauge here. It's digitized for accuracy. Plug it in. And well, 29 psi. That'll give you some tire wear. We're almost at 50% capacity. 36. Mm, 41. 45. Not yet. 49.2. 49.4. Oh, we're almost there. 50 psi score. Okay, that one's good. Let's get the third tire. Yeah, I wonder if somebody in a toll booth would charge you for an extra axle for this because they didn't realize that it wasn't on the ground. Think that's possible? It is. Now this one says 60 PSI on the sidewall, probably because it is a spare. And we've got 29, 50% capacity. Let's see what we get. And 47, it's a tiny little guy. 57, 59, 60 PSI, there we go. I'm cool with 60. Put the cap back on, because it's, uh, if you don't put the caps back on, you're a horrible person. It's just the way it goes. And we have one more over here on the driver's side, passenger side. Twenty-nine, yep. Almost 50% capacity. I'm pretty sure this is going to help out with some of that irregular tire wear. 39. Are we doing 50 psi? Yeah, 50s. Load range B. Four ply. 48. 49. 50. Good. Beautiful, good to go. Let's pop the bearing buddy caps off and shoot a little bit of grease into those units. Okie dokes, grease gun coming in. It's got some lubricant inside. We're gonna give this a couple squirts. Uh, this grease is suitable for marine applications, so I'm, I'm just fine using it. We're gonna give this three or four pumps. Not so much that it overflows because it'll just pump grease out of the backside and make a huge mess but three or four pumps is sufficient to get uh, a nice new coating inside of those bearings. Let's get that other side real quick, like. You guys, silly, I'm still gonna send it right on. Get her done. Send it. There we go, there's that one. Who was that back in the day? Was that guys called uh, Larry the Cable Guy or whatever? Get her done and got her did. I think that was Larry the Cable Guy. He used to, do stand up with Ron White. That one's good to go. Tater salad. Well, fellas, I think uh, that's job well complete. We rotated the tires, checked air pressure, got some lube on the bearings. This thing's ready to rock and roll. It's uh, it's gonna head south on its way to Punta Gorda. They are going uh, Goliath grouper fishing, which good luck because uh, there's fish the size of this boat down there. It's a lot of fish. So having said all that, I've got nothing more to offer you on this particular trailer. 
other than to thank you guys for watching this trailer. Certainly hope you enjoyed this uh, relatively new and diverse uh, type of content. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Do not forget to tap that like button way down there. And most importantly, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day in a video, in a trailer, and a transmission.